wait, little side note here. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to Ukulele Bang, please do so. I do all this stuff out the goodness of me art. And because I've got no friends. So please subscribe. Be a friend. Howdy partners, ukulele bangers. Today we're looking at some banjo licks on the ukulele. You know why? Because we're cool. And we've got a lot of time on our hands. Um, yeah, you should obviously just reference, these licks uh, are all banjo licks that work on the ukulele. Um, but they sound great on the banjo lily. I'm sure you've seen a banjo lily. Basically a banjo and a ukulele combined. So it's basically the same interface, if you like, as a ukulele, but it has a banjo head here. And it's, they sound, these things sound great on them, if you have one. I don't, hence why I'm playing it on a good old fashioned ukulele, where it still sounds awesome. Um, and bear in mind that like, you know, on a, you'll think what a banjo actually is, you know, the banjo is very much akin to a guitar, and that in turn is akin to ukulele. So it's all part of the same family. So you can steal licks from a banjo the same way guitar players steal banjo licks, etc. So we're going to learn three licks today in the key of A on our ukulele and they sound great that's what we just heard at the beginning is all three licks just played back to back uh, nice and quick and if you're new here um and if you're old here too you'll find the in the description box below you'll find the link to the notation the tablature of what we're about to play so go there click that and you'll be able to follow through with the tablature as we play through it happy days here is lick number one in slow motion That is it. So what's going on here? So let's look at the very first part. We've got a little walk up. Now for this lick, uh, we're using, uh, I like to call it the James Bond grip. Thumb, middle finger, sorry, thumb, first finger, middle finger. Or if you're using Pima, P-I-N-M. James Bond grip, gosh. Anyhow, we're gonna use that grip and we're just gonna play little blocks uh, of chords, first of all, like that. So it's going to be one in the C with the open E and A. So you see my thumb is resting on the C string, first finger under the E, middle finger under the A, and there's a little, a little crab motion. So I do the one in the C with the R2 strings, two in the C with the R2 strings, three. See the notation below. There's a very first phrase. That kind of classic, kind of banjo country music walk-in. Then for the next phrase, we're going to play the following. Here we go. So this little phrase here is not too bad. We're gonna play, now this you've got to be kind of clever with your left hand here. We're gonna put our first finger at number three on the C string. And we're gonna do two hammer-ons to so the four on the C string. Now, if you haven't done hammer-ons before, you'll find our videos on ukulele bang about hammer-ons and pull-offs, but a very quick run through here. A hammer-on, you're gonna play the three with your first finger, and then your sec your middle finger is literally gonna hammer onto the string sounding the note. Why would you want to use a hammer on rather than pick it? Because it's really hard to pick that at speed. It's much easier just to let your left finger just do a little twitch. Again, you'll find more videos on hammer ons on ukulele bang. Plug. Is that a plug? It's the same channel, right? And now, okay, there we go. All right, so that's your very first part. So you're gonna play two of them. Then we're going to use our middle finger to pluck up on the A string. So the first little part of that bar, two hammer-ons, pluck up on the A. Then we're going to go for, a, I think what the banjo players refer to as a forward row. Any banjo players can collaborate that or, or tell me I'm wrong. You can put in the comments below, but I believe you guys call that a forward row. We're going to use our thumb on the C string, plucking down our middle finger, sorry, our first finger, finger number... Um, I finger, index finger, gonna pluck up on the E and our middle finger, pluck up on the A. That's it there. And that's the hallmark of this particular lick. So that... See it there? And then just try and play it as fast as you can. So start off really slow uh, and then slowly work up the speed and take things from there. And that is phrase number one. Mm -hmm. 
At the end, I get a little strum, just in our version. Uh, you heard it at the beginning there. And that's number one. Cool that? Awesome. Lick number two, it uh, looks like this. in slow motion. Again, all these licks, you can kind of get off of being a little bit inaccurate. You can be a little bit kind of rough and ready, still gonna sound really cool. So this little phrase here, uh, this is basically, these are basically, uh, all these licks are in A major, really, with little bits and bobs in here. So we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a little, a little minor third to major third. You hear that a lot of different styles of music too, right? Anyhow, uh, so we're gonna play, uh, uh, again, notation below will guide you through, but we're going to play a, a 9 pull off to 7 on the A string, but an 8 hammer 9 on the E. So using fingers 1, 2 and 3 in a combination at the kind of 7th position, we'll get you in the right ballpark. Notice that I'm plucking it as well, I'm doing quite, uh, I'm being quite um, uh, poppy, right? If you were like a bass player playing... Like an old slat and pop thing, see that, that, that the pop on a, on, a, on a bass guitar lets the string whack against the fretboard. I am being quite plucky, quite poppy with the strings, so I'm really, I'm really letting, I'm kind of pulling the string so it will whack off the fretboard, which again kind of helps give it that kind of um, country twang. What a great name, twang, great word. Right, that's right, that's your first part of the phrase. Then, really simple, on, this, on the E string, this is going to be a 9 pull off to the 7. And then an 8 on the E, sorry, 8 on the C, 9 on the C. That phrase in slow motion. There's your second phrase, phrase number 2. And then finally, phrase number 3. Our very final phrase. Cool little phrase. We're gonna play again. Loads of little hammer-ons and and, and pull-offs in here. Uh, we're gonna play a an open E, hammer two in the E, open A, open E. That's your very first part of that phrase. So all one finger really doing that uh, left hand work there. And again, notice my right hand. I'm being quite plucky. Then. This is the final phrase in here. We're going to play a free pull off to pull off open on the A string. Then a two pull off on the E string. Back to open A. Now, see how free pull off to pull off open? A little word here on finger combinations. Um, ordinarily, you know, we're taught, and we've mentioned it before in Ukulele Bang as well, the idea of finger per fret. The idea that you want to, as much as possible, kind of follow this system of keeping your hand in position, letting your fingers do the work. And that works great. You see for that three, two, zero, what you're probably thinking to yourself uh, is using middle finger, first finger, uh, finger two, finger one, open, right? That works really cool. You might notice that I do third and first. Uh, I believe, and I think a lot of players believe as well, in guitar and, and bass and ukulele and you name it, but I'm sure banjo players too, but the third finger and the first finger work really well together, and the second and the fourth fingers work really well together. I think for pull-offs and things, you get a bit more of a lever. See, when we're doing physics in high school, but about levers, you know, I think these two fingers are really close to each other, and they, they can work really great, they can work fine. But I think there's something special about using those two fingers for this sort of lick. I just like it, it just feels much more solid, and it feels that the pull-offs are a little bit stronger. So yes, yeah, so I'm using my third finger, pull off to my first finger, pull off to the open. Because it suits my hand. And then after you play that final A, or that open A string, you can bash an A chord and that's the whole thing. That final lick together. And that's it. Put the whole thing together in slow motion, what you heard at the beginning, lick, uh, lick one, two and three. Here it is in slow motion. Let's see if I can do it in slow motion. One, two, and 
and number three. And good luck with some banjo licks on the ukulele. And feel free to steal things from other instruments. Banjos, guitars, whatever. Sitars. Could you steal things from sitars? Give it a shot. And drop a comment below if you've taken inspiration from any weird and wonderful instruments recently. Good luck with your practice.